Thank you, thank you. This is your humble servant, brother Oscar York, and we hope everyone is having a good, good afternoon today. We hope all had a good morning, had a good breakfast, and a lunch, and ready to hear another episode of Chatting uh, from the Word. Brother Oscar, he is ready to bring this show today. I really am. We hope that. Everyone is doing great and ready to praise the Lord on today. You know, the Lord blessed us with this day. He created this day all for us. All for us because he loved us, my friends. 
If you like the psalm, it says in Psalm 118, verse 24, let us, This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I hope you're ready to rejoice. I hope you're ready to give the Lord his praise for blessing us and watching over us last evening as we slept and slumber. He allowed us to wake up to this beautiful day that he created. That is another, another blessing from our Lord. He has blessed us all that's on this side of heaven with another chance, another chance to be close with him, another chance to get it right with him. And we hope and pray that you're taking advantage of each chance that the Lord gives us to make it right with him. My friend, it is just a blessing that the Lord gave us this day. And I believe we all can say, as the psalmist says in verse, I and mean, in the Psalm 103 division, verse 1 and 2, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me. Uh, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. We here at my, in, in Miamisburg, Ohio, which is the outskirts of Dayton, Ohio, uh, we, we're doing great here. I had to think about that for a moment. <laughs> we're doing great here. You know, it's, it's winter, you know, during winter time, the, the weather is unpredictable. We're having some unpredictable weather. I believe I heard, now this is, I don't know if it's true. I heard we may get some snow pretty soon. Uh, we have a, uh, see no snow in this area yet this one to least i haven't <laughs> i haven't seen any of it you know it might it might be an ask around and, and maybe they have a different story from brother oscar but here the weather is it's it's, it's cloudy there yeah maybe 36 34 degrees 36 degrees and cloudy they say zero percent chance of rain but as i peep out my window it looks like my sound walks is on the outside, look kind of wet. So, <laughs> well, Oscar don't know. I have been outside today. I'm just looking outside the window, and it's cloudy, and it looks like it's been raining. So, but they say zero zero percent chance of rain. But you know how Brother Oscar feels about it, regardless of what's going on on the outside. As long as we have the Son of God on the inside. We have a sunny day, 24, seven, seven days a week, because we have the Son of God. Amen, amen, and amen. As I said, are you ready for a good program today? Are you ready to praise the Lord today? Are you ready to hear a fine lesson? From Romans 5 today, we hope that you are, because we have a good show for you today. Our first selection will be the Southside Singers, Precious Love. And then after that, we be the acapella group called B-A-S-I-C, Sunday, Sunday morning, and then before prayer time, committed a cappella chorus, Jesus is more. Now, on this last selection, I, I must apologize for yesterday. I don't believe it came out really good on the uh, volume on yesterday. And I do apologize for that. But I do want you all to hear this song. Again, it will be the Southside Singers, Take Me Back. Okay, so we're going to do a replay of that and allow you to hear that beautiful song because we believe, we, we, we know it's a beautiful song, okay? So we want you all, you all to hear this song in its entirety today. And I believe 
we recorded it and uh, I believe the volume is good today so uh, that's our show today and of course the lesson again would be justified by faith justified by faith taken from Romans 5 1 through 10 and when we, when we get to that segment of the show have your Bibles ready so that you can study along with your brother here, Brother Oscar. So, just get relaxed. And if you're at home, go and get your favorite beverage, coffee, tea, milk, juice, whatever it may be. And he said, well, you know, <laughs> we ain't talking about that hard stuff, y'all. We're not talking about the hard stuff. You know what Brother Oscar is talking about. And relax in your reclining chair. Or just stretch out on the couch. Or just stretch out on the floor and listen to Brother Oscar York here chatting from the Word. And if you're driving, keep your eyes on the road. But keep on listening to chatting from the Word. And if you're jogging, keep on jogging. Keep on being healthy. But at the same time, keep on listening to us here on Chatting from the Word. All right, all right, all right. Where are we? Where are we? We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're back, we're back. We are back, and we're glad to be back. And we hope that you feel the same. As promised, our first selection would be the Southside Singers, Precious, Precious Love. The Southside Singers, Precious Love. And here we go. Oh, I was 
The Southside Singers, Precious Love. The Lord loved us so much, my friends, that he shed his blood on the cross such a long, long ago. That's how much love he had for us that he gave his own. God gave his son and his son gave his life so that you and I may obtain salvation. My friends, we are so delighted that you're listening to us today here on Telling From the Word on this America platform where we are telling you about the Word from the Word and putting a snap Enjoy and we are glad to do it. We are glad to do it. My Miss Bird, do you have your ears on? Akron, Ohio, do you have your ears on? Possibly, New Jersey, do you have your ears on? Houston, Texas, do you have your ears on? Tyler, Texas, do you have your ears on? Philadelphia, PA, do you have your ears on? Pasacama, California, do you have your ears on? Jacksonville, North Carolina, do you have your ears on? Grand Prairie, Texas, do you have your ears on? Netherlands, do you have your ears on? Italy, do you have your ears on? Spain, do you have your ears on? And listening to Chatting from the Word with your host here, Brother Oscar York. We are so delighted to bring you this program today where you can praise, praise the Lord. We love spending time with all of our listeners and we love playing. These beautiful a cappella songs. Now, our next selection would be B A S I C Sunday morning. Sunday morning, the a cappella group called B A S. I see Sunday, Sunday morning, and here we, here we go. Thank you. 
when you feel it coming down. Say it's on the label. I don't know, I know it is on me. I focus on my friends. I know some of us, we, we want to try everything else except Jesus. We want to talk to Dr. Phil, and we want to talk to all of our psychiatrists, and some of us even try drugs and drinking of alcohol. But when all that does, the Lord come to Jesus, because Jesus is more than what you ever will need. Because he can see you through all the rough times that you are facing or going through. And this is our prayer time, my friends. And if you have a prayer request, 
that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here or tell him from a word, just email it to me. My email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. And if you're listening to us live, you can go to our chat room and you can put your prayer request there. I'm just checking it. I don't see no one there. But if you listen to us live, and we hope that we get you all to listen to us live, you can put your re prayer request there. But before we go into our prayer, we would like to read a scripture. We would like to read James 5, 13 through, uh, 13 through 17. Now, 13 through 18. Here James says, Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let them call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with all in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another that you may be healed, the fact of fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elias was a man subject to like passion as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her youth. Amen. Amen. Prayer works, my friend, and as I've said all this week, pray for our nation. We are in a situation that many do not know which way to turn. But I'm a true believer that our Lord, He wants our leaders to, to do what's right, to love is to love is citizens and do right by its citizens. Don't lie, don't steal. Don't take from other countries. God wants us to do what's right, my friends. And God wants our leaders to do what's right. So let's pray for this, also our nation and its crisis that it is uh, facing at this time. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven. Father, you are the maker of this vast universe in which we live. Father, you just spoke the words into existence, and it existed. Father, you said, let there be light, and there was light. Father, you said, let's create man in our own image. And man was created from the dust of the ground, and breathed through his nostrils, the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Oh, Father, we recognize that you are the great I Am. Father, we recognize that you are the great healer. Father, we recognize that when we talk with you, Father, we recognize that everything will be all right. Oh, Father, we thank you for your son Jesus for dying on the cross so long ago so that we may have salvation. Father, we come praying for this nation that we live in. We pray for its political leaders that they may come together and see things the right way and do what's right by its citizens. Father, we come praying for the state of the church also. We pray that many may understand the truth and come obey your word and the church do what's right and according to what it is in scriptures. Oh, Father, we pray for our listeners at this time. We 
pray, Father, that you be with each listener. Help them to listen with tentative ears at this time. Father, help them to listen to your words, listen to your music, and be happy and allow you to bring joy in their lives. Father, we pray for each listener again. We pray, Father, for the many circumstances they find themselves in, the many complications and problems that come about. We pray, Father, they seek you and to hold close with you when storms and problems do occur. Oh, Father, we come praying for this program, chatting from the Word. Father, help us to keep, keep it on the air. Help us to keep chatting about the Word from the Word and putting a snap in the Christian world. Help us with the lesson that we are going to attempt to bring. Father, we pray that, Father, we may make it so simple that those that do not understand among us and those that are young may understand and come to the knowledge of your truth. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. We want to thank you for praying along with us with, in that prayer, and we hope that we prayed for something that was on your mind. And as always, if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here or chatting from the Word, uh, just email it to me. My email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at uh, gmail.com. And if you listen to us live, you can go to the chat room and put your prayer request there also all right all right all right where are we we will be right back after these messages all right all right all right we're back we're back we are back <laughs> and we hope that you are glad that we are we really do we love bringing this program to you Monday to fridays at two and on saturdays at seven in the evening and we we're trying our best to bring joy into your world at this time to show you the christian the listener those of you who are truly trying to live for the lord that you can have all the joy in the world and i believe some of us we we we, we understand it but if you're truly a Christian and you study God's word, you would know and you would understand the happiness that you can have in the Lord. This is why I bring this program to you every day, Monday to Fridays and Saturday evening, so that we can encourage you to, to get to the word and to enjoy all the beauty all the beauties that the Lord has for us in his word and put it in our lives and to make God's word, which is Christ Jesus, a part of our life. And many of us, we don't understand that. We think all we have to do is just believe. But more to it than that, we got to put Christ in our lives, in our day, every day. Many of you say, well, we're lost. We just don't have time to... To sit around and, and, and praise the Lord and study his word. But you know the Lord didn't say that when he was on the cross. The Lord didn't say I didn't have time to die for you. He died for you. So give him a chance. Give him your time. You know we spend time doing everything else. If our favorite uh, 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 RB group was on the radio, we listen to that. On TV, we listen to, we'll break our neck listening to that. If our favorite show was on TV, we spent a whole hour listening, and some two hours listening and watching our favorite program. But why not spend an hour listening to the beautiful songs and a message from the Lord that Brother Oscar, Monday through Friday, attempt to bring? And we hope that you listen. Listen to Chatting from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar here. 
We try to do a good job here. We try to allow you to understand that Christ loves you, and He really do, and He wants you to be a part of His beautiful, beautiful body. So we want you to listen today. Listen to the to the program, okay? Listen to the program, and while you listen to the program, like us here on Chatting from the Word and uh, follow us here on Chatting from the Word. And when you follow us, uh, we uh, they will contact you on when we are broadcasting the program. We broadcast the program every day at two. And we don't want you all to forget that it's 2 o'clock, you all, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that we're broadcasting. And I don't know what time it will be in, in, in your area. Uh, I know in Houston, we are out ahead of them. And in Houston right now, it's 1, gets 140 something. So if you listen in Houston, it's 140 and we are on. And it's 240 here. So listen to us. Houston, Texas. I know you are because you, 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 I see you every day you're listening. And I know when you're not listening. I know which, I don't know you personally not listening. But I know what city. Uh, if you don't come up in my, when I check the shows and, and I just feel you're not like, I don't know if you didn't mention Dayton or Trotwood. They call them Dayton or Trotwood. You're not listening. Put your ears on. And that's what I'm going to say about that. And if you want to support us here financially, you're welcome to do that. I do have an account on PayPal. I am on uh, PayPal, and I believe that if you want to put something in my PayPal account, uh, I believe it's under my email address. Again, my email address is lowercase, Austin York, 3443, at gmail.com. Now, if you ever want to talk with your brother here, you, you're welcome to do that, but text me for it. Send me a text. Let me know how you like the show. Let me know the job I'm doing. Let me know that you're listening to the program. Give me a thumbs up. But don't give me a thumbs up if you haven't listened to the show. And then if you are giving me a thumbs up, and you don't even want, you did not even listen to the show. Listen to the show, then give Brother Oscar a thumbs up. So, contact me. Let me know how you really enjoy the show. Like I said, you can uh, leave you a text in my email address, uh, my, in my email, in my email. And I do have a, a page on Facebook. You can leave messages on that. You can also message me on my own weekend, Instagram, and uh, other entities that we'll use it. You can send me a message to that also. And I do have a web page. My web page address is OscarYorkPublishing.com. And you can leave a line or two there. But while you're there, I do have a bookstore. I have authored two books, A Peaceful Place in the Storm, God is in Control, and which sell for $21.50, and Bridges of Friendship, which also sell for $21.50, and if you want to purchase both books, both books are forty-three dollars. Now, brother Oscar, not saying you must purchase uh, both books. Purchase either book. If you purchase one or two, one book is twenty-one fifty, and two is forty-three dollars. And read. Get a book from Oscar York Publishing and read. You know my motto. I say it every day. When you read, you get knowledge. And with knowledge comes power. Yes, it does. It comes power when you read. Amen. The internet network that we come on is Podchaser, Beezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Castbox, Podcast Addicts. America, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, go to your Google Play or App Store and download the Sparica Podcast app. And once you download it, look for us, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Oscar. And when you find us, put us in your favorite so that when 2 o'clock comes, you can go to your Sparica Podcast app. And pull us up, and we be there just waiting to have a wonderful program with 
you. Now, the music that we play here on Candy from the Word, we do not own the copyrights to none of it. But what we want to suggest that you do is to support these fine artists that we are playing here on Chatting from the Word. The key word is support, support, support. Go buy the CDs, go up, go to that concert, and let them know how much you enjoy their program, and let them know you are really lifting them up in Jesus. They are lifting you up in Jesus Christ, and allow them to know that you heard it here first on Chatting from the Word. All right, all right, all right. Me, that's it. <laughs> Me, that's it. Our, our last selection before the message will be the Southside Singers. Now, like I said, uh, we played we played this yesterday, but the volume was not high enough, and I hope that you can hear it today. And the song is Take Me Back by the Southside Singers. Take me back, and here we go. Take me back by the South Side Singers.
Man, I, I, I was enjoying the song so much, you know, I got lost to that song. And indeed, that's why I wanted to play it again so that y'all can listen to it. And it's the South Side Singers Take Me Back. You know, when, when the lost come back home, we should be able, all of us, that we, if we love them, if we love souls of men, and when they come back home, we should rejoice when they come back home. We shouldn't talk about them or make them feel bad, but we should rejoice, give them a hug, and love them again. You have some real officers talking about that's what the church is supposed to do. Amen, amen, and amen. We'll be right back after these messages. All right, all right, we're back, we're back, and we are ready for the message, and we hope that you're ready for the message also. We still are in the book of Romans, the letter that Paul wrote to the Roman church, and I love the way Paul put it out there. And now he's in chapter 5, and he's talking about being justified by faith. And let, let, let's read first the first verse of chapter 5 and, and let's put it into chapter 2 there. And he said, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have peace. Justified, we're justified, being justified by faith. And what we said justified was, and to make right. We can't make ourselves right. But we are we are justified by faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom also we have access by faith. And we say access means obtain. And we have above all that we have obtained by faith this grace. By faith. By faith. And we say that faith here means, of course, it, it covers belief, but also covers trust. When we have faith in God, we will have a strong trust in the Lord to the point of obedience. As you can remember our, our lesson on, on the last time, we talked about Abraham, uh, faith and his trust. And this is the faith that, that, that Paul is talking about in this letter. The kind of faith will move you to trust in the Lord. Okay? And it says, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God, of the glory of God. Rejoice in hope of the glory of God, of the glory of Jesus Christ, of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation. When you are a part of this hope, when you have a hope, in Jesus, we have a hope in God, we have the glory of God, you can also have glory in tribulations. In other words, you can rejoice in tribulations. I know many may be uh, uh, confused when we say that, but James, listen, Brother James, James said, count it all joy. We fall into diamonds of temptations. My friend, when you are in the grace of God, when you are in the grace of Christ, you can have hope even in tribulations because when you're going through something, you know the Lord is going to be with you when you're going through those storms, when you're facing the worst in life, you will have that faith that God knows what's best. And, and what it's saying here, it's not saying that, that, that we're going to be happy in tribulation. No. But it says that we will be able to understand the tribulation we're going through because our trust is in Jesus Christ. And it says tribulation also, knowing that tribulations work it. Patience. See, we don't understand. Some of us say, well, I don't need to work. And it's not talking about work like work. 
It's talking about having trust in the Lord, and when you have trust in the Lord, you have a trust in obedience that you want to be with the Lord and be just like the Lord. Okay? We're going to end it here. That's the lesson. And we're, going to, we're going to be back on this lesson tomorrow. So join us tomorrow here at Chatting from the Word. Like I said, this is a good lesson, and we hope that uh, you'll get it. You the meat of this lesson because Paul here has a good, good, it, it's just good. Let's <laughs> go. Oscar put like that. So join us tomorrow. We're going to be still studying from uh, Justified by Faith, Romans 5, 1 to 10. And if you want to see what else we're going to say on the, on the lesson, join us tomorrow here at Chatting from the Word. It's our time to say goodbye. Our time is for spent. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, Allah be thy name, Father, we thank you for this time that we have with our listeners. We thank you, Father, for the lesson. And we pray for all those singers that we are listening to today. We pray that they keep on praising you in the acapella music. And Father, be with each listener. Help them have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Now, may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, Rest you and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. And as always, it was nice chatting with you today from Chatting from the Word. Bye-bye. We'll see you all tomorrow.